To use the improved content aware fill in Photoshop, you want to first of all, make sure that you have the beta version of Photoshop. So you want to go in the Creative Cloud, get yourself in the beta apps and make sure that you have Photoshop beta installed. So then once you're in Photoshop and you want to use this feature, all you need to do is have yourself the image and you can use the content aware fill to remove this person just by simply going to the lasso tool, get yourself a selection around the person and there we go, connect it all up. Once you've got yourself this selection, you can then go up to edit and then go down to content aware fill. Once you've loaded in here, you will notice that straight away is going to attempt and it's going to try its best to try to remove the person from here. However, it's not really done a great job and this is when the new feature comes into play. So what Photoshop have done is they've added an additional document. So if you have a look through the options, you'll see something called additional document. If you open this up, you will see that there is now a new feature which allows you to import a reference image. Let's say that you took multiple shots of this picture and you had another reference that you wanted to use. You would simply left click in here and go to import, get yourself the reference image. So for example, I'll be using this one right here. Go ahead and click on open. You just want to go ahead and click on okay. This will then do a much better job at removing the person. Now at the moment, you may not be able to see this. I have a window here of the preview. So this is the selection. And then we have one down here, which is the reference image. And you're probably wondering why exactly would you want this feature? If you've already got a picture with the person removed, why would you want to do this? Well, that is a very good question because I was thinking the exact same thing. And the reason why you would want this is because like I said at the beginning, if you've took multiple shots and let's say that your first one, which was this one, looked amazing. It was nicely focused. Everything in the background looked amazing. However, the person was in the way. Well, what you can do is you can combine these two right here. What this will do is it will use this image, but it will fill this area in right here with the second image. So from here, if you wanted to, you can customize the settings. You have the flexibility of if you want it off default or if you want it on high. And you also have things like the brightness, the contrast, and so much more. Once you're happy with the results and you're ready to save this, all you need to do is go to output to set this to a new layer and then go ahead and click on okay. And as you can see, the person has now been removed from this image and we have ourselves the reference layer right here. Once again, giving us the freedom to be able to go back to the original or we can hold shift, click on the bottom one and then convert this into a smart object. And there we go. That's pretty much the new feature that has been added to the content aware fill in Photoshop.